Hi Gemini, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your You versus Them. Gems, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Gems, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So, Gemini. Okay, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Gemini, you know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, I have an emperor <laughs> in reverse. Either somebody feels they've lost control or lost power or they feel they can't manifest their uh, their wishes now with the other person or this could be a very controlling person, I don't know. Uh, one person has been very patient because they, I think, always wanted uh, some, they felt this connection, they felt this was a soulmate bond but... Uh, I don't know, maybe they've held ground for the other person to come and speak their truth but they're giving up now it's like yeah this is over there is nothing here there is no future here the other person is uh, realizing that uh, they've lost out on a wonderful person they, uh, they they now i think have chosen they have made up their mind that they want to have a passionate brand new beginning i think this person is scared that they've lost their power or they will not be able to manifest this so let's see i'm going to clarify all these cards for you gemini of course but first let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'll clarify these gemini and that person spirit gemini and that person gemini and that person if they could say something to each other now what would that be Gemini and that person spirit Gemini and that person all right let's take a few more gems from another deck Gemini and that person if they could say something to each other now spirit what would that be okay just a few more gems from a third deck as well and then we'll start the reading Gemini and that person Gemini and that person spirit. All right, good to go, gems. Let's start the reading. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card says, You're all I ever need. You complete me. I think they have made up their mind now. I want to prove my love to you through actions. I will never love another like I love you. I hid who I really am from you. You make me feel things I've never felt before. I kept the text messages. Do you really believe I'm the one for you? Yeah, it's like they feel they've lost their power now. I think there's a bit of insecurity that... I can't handle you not being in my life forever. For now, but not forever. I cried all night, wondering why you weren't sleeping next to me. You're a catalyst to my spiritual growth. I don't want to let you go. There was something in your eyes. I trusted you. Memories of you heal me. You listened to me when others got bored of my stories. Baby, I need to hold you tight. Now I need to hold you tight. You deserve someone better than me. So it's like as much as they have made up their mind and they want to, they, they want, they've chosen, now this, I think they're kind of losing Mm, faith in themselves it's like am I good enough 
maybe the other person deserves better than me now i wish i could apologize i could be all that you need but when they were supposed to i think they didn't step up okay so let's see i'm going to start clarif the clarifications now uh, gemini but before that let's uh, take an angel blessing card for you let's see what my angel guides want to bless my precious gems with today as a blessing guidance advice or a message triumphant there's victory ahead of you uh, gemini there's a lot of victory coming your way you will be rewarded big time triumphant okay so spirit tell me what's happening in this connection now and gems uh newcomers uh, let me explain this these are two soul energies in front of me it's not gender based one side would be you if this is your reading the other side would be a person who's connected to your energy and affecting it maybe you're getting affected by your energy now of course could be a love interest could be a spouse could be an ex could also be a non romantic person maybe a business partner or a close friend or something or a relative right so if this is your reading you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this person is for you so let's start now with person a's energy so person a temperance was the temperance yeah person a has kept themselves isolated for a long time very very patiently waiting for the other person maybe to recognize this connection but it's been very frustrating i think uh four of wands four of wands yeah i think person a there was love here there was love here uh, but somebody is now realizing that what they thought that was love and it's going to be you know a forever um now they're realizing that maybe the stagnation that came into this connection they've realized no this is not it there is no nothing stable on offer there is no future to look forward to i think person a really was patient and they were in their hermit mode uh, you know praying wishing hoping that things could like this, they believed that the other person was meant to be in their life for a reason kind of a thing but because i think there was very little given from the other end or maybe there was stagnation no offer came i think person a is now getting fed up and saying you know what maybe this was this contract is over maybe it was only like they say now um, soulmates come into your life for a reason season or a lifetime so person a says yeah i felt a very strong soulmate bond with them but then maybe this contract is over or it was just a false one because things are just not moving forward and here i've been patiently waiting and hoping and nothing so why do you feel this way person a tell me seven of wands what's the seven of wands seven of wands I think person A was hoping that uh, the other person would fight for this connection or talk to them or reveal something about what happened in the past but they feel that that person just ghosted them or lied to them or cheated on them or something so person A could be now yeah I think person A waited for a long time they waited for that offer to come for their person to speak the truth to explain what happened uh, but now it's like yeah now I have to put my guard up I have to put my barrier up I have to take my power back maybe it's time for me to you know have a passionate brand new beginning elsewhere um I think they really waited for the other person who they saw as somebody who was very honest and intelligent and all that to come and have that face to face conversation with them and explain to them but i think they realized that the other person escaped doing that or something king of swords yep i think person he says yeah yeah they may maybe maybe they, they they were just full of drama maybe they just wanted passion and nothing else they had nothing to offer me they disrespected me here i was thinking we'd be a perfect match but maybe it's time for me to just turn my back on this connection and uh, st even, even stop communicating now not wait for communication from them either so how do you see the connection now person a how do you see person b and how do you feel about the connection Ten of Swords. Person A says, "I've been stabbed in the back. I've been hurt. It's over. There is nothing, no future. 
I was dealing with somebody very stubborn, very egoistic. No, they just wanted to look good in front of me and they only wanted their way or the highway kind of a thing. Maybe, yeah, I think, I think person A feels insulted or uncared for in this connection. It's like, yeah, I don't, I'm not even waiting for a reconciliation. If they can't make up their mind, if they can't choose, if they can't do right by me, then, well, it's over. I'm healing myself. Ten of Cups, yeah, it's total stagnation. I think uh, person A says, if they are never going to step up and do right by me, and they're only going to bring in chaos and conflict into my life, then I'm not going to be juggled. I'm not going to be an option in anyone's life. I'm dropping this. Okay, so what action person A will finally take, I will open later. Let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So person B, you have the Empress in reverse as well. So what's that? Pers person B, I think they are uh, watching, they are spying, they are trying to gather information to see whether person A is even open to them maybe talking or coming back, but they're feeling blocked. I think person B is feeling blocked. They are feeling that person A doesn't want them back in their life anymore. Why? Because I think this person was a bit of a trickster in the past. past. Yeah, they didn't make a decision, they didn't make a choice, or they made the wrong choice. Now they are scared that they will not be able to manifest this Ten of Cups back because of some lies they told, or they didn't talk, they didn't clear the air, or they just avoided, I think. Um, tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, this person has been thinking, overthinking, stressed out, and... Uh, now they're scared. They're scared. Even though they want to rebuild, they are scared that the other person will is angry with them or is upset with them or doesn't want them back anymore and not stuck on them anymore. So this person is a bit afraid now. They're afraid that this connection has totally ended. Right? They feel that the other person who was giving so much of love and affection so freely has now put a lid on that cup of love and ended this soulmate bond with them. They're feeling the same way. So, why do you feel this way, person B? Tell me. Seven of Cups in reverse. What's the Seven of Cups in reverse? Seven of Cups in reverse. This person made chose wrong. Maybe they had a op, they had two options, and they may have made the wrong choice. Uh, they delayed uh, making the right choice, maybe, or they didn't want to lose their single life. They're very stressed out. This person is having anxiety, sleepless nights, nightmares, because now they realize what they've lost, what their lies has cost them. They've lost out on a future. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Now they are wishing, hoping for a passionate brand new beginning, but they don't have the courage to ask. They don't know how to make wrongs right now. Like, how do I right the wrongs I have done? This person is lacking courage now. They feel I will not be able to manifest this. I behaved like a trickster. I think person B is recognizing what they did. They may have breadcrumbed person A. They may have not offered a partnership. Now now I think that they do want to. They do want to, but maybe some truths came out about them. Uh, now they're standing at crossroads. Now, now they know that because of their indecision or not them not being make, making a decision or a choice or choosing the right path, they're scared they've been dropped. They, they're scared that person A has given up on them. So how do you feel about the connection now, person B, and how do you see person A? Two of swords. What's the two of swords? They are very unhappy. <laughs> They are very wet. Okay. You know what this person is now scared of? They feel now they will be an option in person A's life. They feel that the reason person A has now blocked them off is because person A is moving on to new love. Now they will be in the position where they may or may not get chosen. Right? They are very unhappy about that. Very, very unhappy about that. Because now they want to come forward. They, this person is now wanting to come forward. They want to offer the Ten of Pentacles, a happily ever after. They want to transform this connection. 
uh, they want they see person A as a long term partner, somebody they can't replace, somebody who is loving and kind and generous and makes their own money and looks good, a perfect spouse kind of person. That's how they are seeing person A. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, but the but they're angry and this person has control issues. It's like they have control issues, they've always had them and now the other person is not talking to them either, right? Communication could have stopped. Now they're angry. Now they're angry. Why are you angry? King of Swords and Rivers. Because now <laughs> this person is so used to getting their own way. They, they are so used to always having the upper hand. Now they are upset and angry because now it's their turn to put in the work. They will have to probably start from scratch. They will have to. They will have to request the other person. Can I have a new beginning? And they know now the power is with the other person. They have their sword up. So now they don't know whether they're going to be chosen or not. Am I right, person B? Yep, they want to come back. They really, really want to come back. Do you want to come back, or were you waiting for the other person to come back, person B? They're disappointed that the other person didn't come back. Is that it? Yeah, they are, they are depressed. They feel it's not fair. That person A just closed the chapter down with them. Oh, okay. Let's see what actions you guys will take then. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Gemini. And while I shuffle these cards, may I please request you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated to do more videos for you. Thank you. And newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. All right. Person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Six of cups in reverse. Like I said, reason, season, lifetime. Person A is accepted that this soulmate connection was either false or it's over. Okay, tell me about the Six of Cups. Yeah, they are seeing the other person as just somebody very immature who only came in for passion and then they left. And maybe left to go to another place and another place. <laughs> Basically, they were in it only for fun and not anything serious. So, person A is saying, yeah, this can't be my soulmate. It's over. Uh, I think they did wait for the other person to come and clear the air, hoping that they would sooner or later, you know, come and speak their truth. They will take action towards me. They will travel towards me. But um, I think they were waiting, waiting, waiting. If, if, if person B had offered a partnership, it would have actually made person A very happy. They were wishing and hoping for that. They were manifesting that. But now it's come to a point where, you know what? I'm manifesting happiness for myself. I'm accepting I'm single now. I'm accepting I'm single. I'm independent. I'm manifesting, you know, my own dreams and wishes to come true and feeling happy in that. Accepting that I, may, I, I, I assumed wrong about the other person. Okay, so person B, tell me. Will you take action towards person A or are you still sitting in upset and anger that you have not been chased? <laughs> what is it? Person B. Knight of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups? How is that in action? The Fool, okay. Oh, Five of Pentacles, the Hermit and the Three of Swords. Oh my God. Person B somewhere feels that person A has shut the door on them, slammed it shut. They are so afraid. They are afraid they've been left out in the cold. They've been left behind. This person could be very lonely right now. They could be sitting by themselves. Uh, I think what they are worried about and what they're upset about is the fact that person A could be moving on to a brand new life for themselves, maybe choosing a brand new partner for themselves or finding new love. And those thoughts are breaking their heart. They are sitting in a lot of pain. But why would you take action then? Why would you just sit in pain assuming? Tell me person B. Why won't you just reach out and find out? You're hurting, feeling that the other person is moving on. 
the emperor okay seven of pentacles two of pentacles and the queen of pentacles okay so this person wanted to be seen as an emperor they 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 thought they they had all the power and all the control normally an emperor upright is a good card but it was the overall energy was an emperor in reverse if you remember right this person was um, trying to be seen as an emperor maybe but they never invested they never really invested and they never made that choice maybe they kept person a as an option never offered you know anything to person a and uh, they could have they could have lied they could have cheated they could have done a lot of stuff which they know that that's the, those are the reasons why why i may not be given a second chance or i may not be chosen now so it's like difficult to undo what has already been done and they know that and they somewhere are doubting themselves now it's like yeah you know i won't be able to manifest this after all that i've done of course they are crying they are hurting they feel they lost out on the biggest cup of love that the universe could have given them all because they were maybe very selfish or controlling or you know just looking out at at them for themselves or just wanting a lot of attention from people this is like they are realizing their past mistakes that's what i have for you gems till next time then love and light take care namaste